Now I would like to add to the UI data that is based on an expression. For example, I would like to add a field that will show me whether or not the date over here is in the first half of the year or the second half. Let's see how it's done. We'll switch over to the show orders class and we'll add a new method and we'll call it get year half. Now, in it I would like to write the logic that tells me whether or not it's the first half or the second half. Now, one of the advantages of the migrated code is that we provide you with all the functions that you previously used in Magic, where you can use them in the future in your new code. So, for instance, if I wanted to find out the month of a date, I would say you, which is short for user method, or all the functions that existed in Magic. And here I can go ahead and select any function that I ever had. In this case, month. And then I can say month of order, order date is less or equal to 6, I'll return first half. Otherwise, I'll return second half. Now, the U object over here that provides you all of those functions is a great tool to serve as a Rosetta Stone between you and other .NET developers in your team. You can see every function that you ever used in Magic, and you can go ahead, right-click it, go to definition, and see how it's written. So in the future, you'll know that you can just use date.month instead of u.month of that date. Whereas a .NET developer will come and look at your code and see that you've handled properly the null value or the empty value. Okay, so you have every function that you know, know how to use, and you can see the code behind it and learn from it how to develop in the future. Let's go back to our UI and bind it to our form. We'll resize our form, resize the order date column, and duplicate the control using the control key, and bind it now. In our controller, we see both entities we're using, and we also see the get year half method that we've just created. Let's bind it, run it, and see what we've got. As you see now, because we are ordered by date, we can see that first half, second half, first half, second half, and even if we change values, let's change this from November to June, it will immediately reevaluate. Next, I'm going to show you how to bind properties of a control to expressions.